Hello everyone. Hope that you all are doing great. By the thumbnail, you might have understood that this video is an update to a previous video of Spring Security Basic Authentication, where in the previous code we were uh, using Web Security Configurer Adapter, which is now deprecated. So, uh, so few people have commented also on my video that this is deprecated and how to update the code. So this is an updated version of the code. So how to do it? Uh, but before jumping to the code part, I will uh, request you to please like, share and comment on the video. Also, please subscribe the channel and share the vi share video among your contacts so that the reach of the channel could grow. So let's jump to the code part. Let me take you to the Eclipse ID. I have already imported the project that uh, we uh, made in the previous video of Spring Security uh, Basic Authentication. I'll put the link in the description. You can go there and check that uh, how we were using uh, the code in the previous way while we were using web security configure adapter uh, now as web security configure adapter has been deprecated so we have just changed the spring security configuration and also in this video i will not discuss everything in detail we'll just see the changes in the spring security configuration and we'll run the application subsequently right after doing changes we'll run the application and check that what changes have been done right so let me jump to spring security configuration file and here uh, first of all we were using web security configurer adapter so we had to override few pro uh, methods right like uh, configure method for authentication manager builder right and then uh, we were using the configuration method for http security yeah these were the methods that we were using right so now what uh, now if we have removed that web security configure adapter then these override of uh, overriding of method should also be removed so i have commented those code so now how we will be making our uh, uh, users right while we were firstly we were making a in memory user using uh, auth uh, authentication manager builder so now how we will make our user is that we will take a user detail class that is provided by spring so we'll use user user is also being provided by spring only so we are using user dot with username as user and password as password and role as user and dot build then another object that we have used is user one and same thing just that the role is uh, admin and the username is user one now we are returning the in memory user detail manager right first of all what we were doing that we were uh, building the authentication uh, we were building the uh, auth authentication manager builder object, right? And we were putting uh, the in memory access of user one, user two with roles. So now uh, we are returning a new object of in memory user detail manager where we are passing user and user one, right? So now our in memory access has been given to user and user one with password and uh, with password as password and role as user and admin, right? So this is the way, this is a way when we have removed the web security configure adapter, right? So how we'll be making an in-memory usage. So this is the way how we will do it. So now uh, we'll directly jump to the, uh, the URL mapping, right? First we were using the uh, configuration method, configure method with HTTP security and we were passing some uh, authorizations, right? We were passing that, okay, HTTP, uh, what all URLs should be permitted, what all URLs should have the uh should be permitted only when the user role is admin and if all the urls are being protected or not if all the urls are not protected or not so we were handling those things from configure method using http security so now we have to do, write in, instead of writing a configure method we will be writing a security filter chain method right which will be returning us an object of security filter chain so here uh, everything remains same just that we have to return the HTTP build object. Same uh, uh, mappings are being done, same everything is being done. So now this tells us that, okay, all requests are fully authenticated. Whether you come from an admin role or whether you come from a user role, all URLs are authenticated. You have to put the uh, credentials to log in, right? Uh, sorry, to not to log in, uh, to access that URL. So this method says that, okay, every URL hitting this application is uh, fully authenticated. So let me run the application uh, by just doing these changes. You can see that no password encoder is being used because uh, 
this is just an in memory example i am not using the application example so if you want that okay uh, the user is uh, dynamic and coming from the database we are storing user into database then you can see the previous video um, where i have discussed that uh, how we are using different types of uh, password encoders to encode the password and store it, store it into our database. I'll put the link in the description. So let me run the application and let us check that how we can access the URLs. So let me also take you to the controller part as to give a just a gist about that what URLs we have in our application. So we have two uh, controllers. One is no auth controller that is slash no auth slash say hello right and the second one is a uh, spring security controller that says slash rest slash auth slash hello right so we have two controllers right now uh, looking at our spring uh, spring security configuration it tells us that all urls whether it is of no auth controller or spring security controller all urls from this these controllers are fully authenticated so now our application is running. Let me so now let me take you to the browser and let me hit this URL of no auth say hello. Here also if I am hitting this URL then also it will ask me for credentials. Right now it is asking me for credentials. Let me input user and password as password. Right this is the uh, user and password of uh, user role. Okay let me enter the user one and password as uh, you will get to know that okay this url was accessible with no auth but still admin can access it so let me sign in okay i have input it wrong user one and the password is password yes so admin can also access this so now let me uh, take you to the uh, another url that was rest slash auth slash hello right so right now uh, the admin user is logged in so it has given the access let me close the browser and open it again okay now i will say local host 8080 slash rest slash auth slash hello right so this is also asking me for credentials. Now if I input the credentials of user, the uh, user as name as user and the role as user only. So let me input the password as password. So yes, it can access it, right? Now if I put the other URL as well, that is the uh, no auth and say hello. So it can access that also. So uh, this is how that all our requests are being fully authenticated, right? So now let me uh, comment this method and let me take you to the method above it and let me uncomment it, right? So what this method says is that any request coming with slash rest should be fully authenticated, right? and other uh, url should not be authenticated right so it says only request coming with slash url should be authenticated so let me save it and let me run the application again and let me take you to the browser let me first close the browser as uh, it keeps uh, the user in cache so let me now go to the console application will start right now uh, this is what we are doing is we are we have written the same method of uh, security filter chain just that uh, we have uh, done the same things that we were doing before when we were writing the configuration method just that we have returned the http dot build method so that the sub, uh, security filter chain object could be returned so now the application is up so let me uh, take you to the browser so what uh, it says is, let me take you to the browser, just a minute, yes. So now if I say localhost slash no auth and say hello, right. Now for this request, there is no need for uh, any credentials, no authentication has been required. So let me hit enter. 
so it says hello no auth right so this is uh, this is a url that doesn't require any authentication so now let me go to slash rest slash auth and slash hello now this url contains slash rest so this url should be authenticated so it should ask for credentials so let me say enter yes it says enter the credentials so let me enter user and the password as password password right so yes it has given me the access so this was the second type of uh, authentication that we do for our uh, application that is a url based authentication so first authentication that we did was that fully authenticated that all requests coming to this uh, application are authenticated right now what we have done is that uh, application uh, url with slash rest should be authenticated other url should not be authenticated so now let me comment this as well and now let me uncomment this method and let me tell you what it says so now this method says that okay any request coming with slash no auth should be permitted right but any request coming with slash rest the user should have role as admin so now the third uh, type of request is that the user role should be admin then only access should be given to this url otherwise this url should be accessible to both the users it is uh, it uh, the credentials are required for both the urls but this can be accessed by admin as well as user but this can only be accessed by admin role right now let me save it and let me run the application again and let me close the browser again because it stores so control shift let me now take you to the url localhost no auth say hello now this url is also authenticated any user can access it so now i'll log in with admin on this user right so i have written this now i'll say user1 which was my admin role user and i'll say password so i'll enter so it says no auth right now if i go to the uh, other url as i am already logged in with the admin user it should give me access right let me say hello yes it has given the access to the admin now let me close again the browser and let me open it again and if i access that uh, url with the say uh, 8080 slash no auth say hello right now if i input the user as user and password as password it should give access right because uh, any user can access this user url just that uh, the credentials are required to access it now if i remove this url and if i put slash rest slash auth slash hello it will say 403 as forbidden yes it says forbidden why it has say uh, given me 403 status because i have logged in from user which has role as user not as admin so this U uh, url is not accessible to that user right so that that's why it has given me forbid forbidden error right so uh, we have covered all the type of request that can land on our application using security filter chain and we have removed the web security configurer adapter uh, implementation right so now we have implemented spring security we have updated the spring security without uh, web sec uh, web security configurer adapter right so uh, this was a very quick update i am not discussing the whole project in details as it it has already been done in the previous video so these were the changes you can find the code repository in the description of the video and this was it from the video i suppose that you people might like the video and please share among your contacts and do subscribe the channel to support the channel and to grow the channel so this was it i'll see you in the next video till then happy learning